Okay, so update. I went through and read the transcript for Kathy's video, and she says nothing about her daughter in the video. It's fucking sad. She literally only put a, a picture of her daughter on the screen for sympathy so that people would come and feel sorry for her, for whatever I've done to her. She's hiding behind her dead daughter, just like she was hiding behind her grandchildren in the beginning. She says, I'm threatening her grandchildren, when the reality is, she was using her grandchildren as human shields. She was videoing them while saying disgusting things about me in the background. And then if anybody came after her for the things she was saying, she would say, that's a video of my grandchildren. How dare you attack them? Because what she's saying and what she's showing are two different things. She's hiding what she's saying behind what she's showing. She shows innocent little children. She shows her dead child. But then what she's saying has nothing to do with those things. It's just the face of her abuse. It's the innocent face that she's hiding her malicious, vindictive abuse behind. And people aren't even able to see it. I watched that video. She didn't say anything about Angela in it, except that it's her birthday soon. That's it. But yet Angela's face is on the cover. She's using her daughter to help her case that she's believable when the truth is that she is an abuser. She's accusing me of taking her daughter's money. I never took anything from Angela. The last time I saw Angela, her and Sarah came down and stole my grandmother's medication. And I cussed her ass out for it. That was the last time I spoke to her uh, before the funeral. So, how am I stealing money? Why did I, what did I take from Angela? Your videos don't make sense. And you're using your children to make it look like they make sense. Because the images and the, the words don't match.